is about 4.23. Um, I'm kind of rushing a little bit because I reserved an Uber last night because when you try to get it in the morning, it's literally horrendous. People cancel on you. It takes 20 minutes for the Uber. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try out this reserve system thing. So I set it for 4.45 and he got here like just a couple minutes ago. And that, like I said, it's 4.23. So it says he's going to wait until 4.50 and then if I'm not out there by then, he leaves. But now I'm like, oh my god, I need to hurry up. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to say good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I do have a four-day trip. If you wanted to see how I packed and meal prep for this trip, I will link the video above because it's going to be the one right before this. But um, it is my, it's an actual four-day trip. It's my first actual four-day trip since February. So... <laughs> I am the purser and I have uh, layovers in Colorado Springs tonight, Omaha, Nebraska tomorrow night, and then Sacramento on Tuesday night, I believe it is. So I'm going to finish getting ready and then we're going to head out to the airport. Hey you guys, I have made it to Colorado Springs. It is 515. I'm gonna make this really short because I'm trying to get out and do a hike before it gets dark outside. So I'm gonna change really quickly and then I'm gonna head out. So I will talk about everything and give you a room tour later, but I just wanted to check in because hopefully, fingers crossed, we're about to go do something really cool. So I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kind of walk and see where I end up. I don't really want to spend too much time out here because I don't want to get stuck out here when it's dark. So I might just spend 30, 45 minutes. We'll see kind of how it goes. But yeah, let's do it. for like 10 minutes and I'm already out of breath. I'm so out of shape, it's not even funny. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go just a little bit further and I think I'm gonna turn back. But it's so pretty out here. I, this is my first time in Colorado Springs. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I've been to Denver a few times. And if you've ever been to Denver, you know Denver is like flat. The first time I went to Denver, I was really shocked because I thought it was like in the Rocky Mountains. No. Colorado Springs, though, is like in the mountains. <laughs> but I'm gonna <laughs> save my energy because holy moly, <sighs> it's been a long day and I'm really just using my last bit of strength to do this, so. <sighs> in my room I just bathed and I'm in my PJs I am going to eat some of this chunky chili that I got downstairs for two dollars because I really just wanted something warm it's really cold outside and I just wanted something nice and soothing and warm so I am just gonna eat this and then pretty much go to bed. My report time tomorrow is 7.15, so that's what time I have to be at the gate. Our van pickup time from the hotel is 6.30. And tomorrow all I'm doing is Colorado Springs back to Denver and then Denver to Omaha. So today was such a long day. Like, nothing really crazy happened. The flights weren't really that bad. Everyone was lovely on 
pretty much all three flights that it was just a long day i felt like it went on for forever by the time we got to la from chicago <laughs> i heard someone say that was getting on they were like oh i'm just starting my day and i was like i feel like this is two days long so chicago to la was fine apparently we had some famous like tiktokers on our flights i'm gonna have to look them up because i'm sure i've probably seen some of their videos but i don't i don't know um and then la to denver was pretty chill too nothing really crazy uh we did switch aircrafts when we got to denver it was a little bit late incoming apparently that plane had a rejected landing so i'm not entirely sure what happened but they were circling for a while uh, to be able to finally land so it ended up pushing us back about 20 minutes so we were 20 minutes late but other than that the flight from denver to colorado springs bumpy because you're going through the mountains essentially and it's literally a 20 minute flight so there was no service we weren't even able to get out of our jump seats because it was so bumpy and then i got to colorado springs and then well that's that so i am gonna just get all cozied up in bed eat my food edit some stuff maybe and then knock out and i will catch y'all tomorrow i will do a room tour a room tour tomorrow morning because hopefully the sun will kind of be coming up so it'll be a little bit lighter outside and i could show you because i have a little balcony it's really cute uh and so yeah i'll do that tomorrow morning for y'all good night good morning guys it is monday i'm gonna give you a really quick room tour because i have to be downstairs in 10 minutes and i still have to get some of my stuff together so let me show you what my room looks like don't mind it it's gonna be a mess obviously because i just like lived in it for the night but here's the bathroom closet I have this cute little coffee area single bed and then it's not even light outside but this is a little balcony out here which looks out to like a courtyard area it's kind of cute okay I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff ready and then I'm gonna be out because I have to be downstairs like really soon We have made it to Omaha, Nebraska, where it is currently like 35 degrees. So I will give you a quick room tour. And then I think I'm just going to chill for a bit, look up some stuff to kind of do. There was some places that I wanted to go to. There are some, I guess, really good restaurants here downtown. So I might just check some of that out. I do have a super early pickup time of 4.45 tomorrow morning. So I'm not really gonna be out super late. I'm gonna just relax tonight probably work on some editing and things like that, so. I'm going to Spaghetti Works. I checked the menu. They have gluten-free pasta. So I'm going to go because it's cold outside and pasta honestly sounds so good right now. And there's a salad bar and like literally the entire crew was talking about this place. So I'm going to go. And then there is this place called Hollywood Candy that has a whole bunch of old timer candies. And I think there's like a pinball, uh, pinball machine museum in there or something. So we're going to walk around this downtown area is called Old Market and there's a lot of mom and pop shops, different sorts of uh, restaurants and all sorts of things. So we're going to go walk around for a little bit. Um, <laughs> side note, when I was leaving my room, I was checking my pockets for my phone to make sure I had it with me. Guess where it was? In my hand.
So I'm headed back to the hotel now. It's about a little after three o'clock. Walked around downtown a little bit, went to that Hollywood candy place, which was so awesome. And then went into some other little shops and stuff. And I'm just gonna chill the rest of the day, edit some, and then try to go to bed early for our early wake up time tomorrow. Y'all, I just got back to my room and I got, like I sat down on my bed, I got my laptop out. I'm ready to just kind of like start working on some content and stuff. And I went to go turn my TV on just so I could have it like in the background. I could watch something while I'm doing this. It doesn't work. Like the TV literally will not turn on. And no, it's not just the remote control because I pressed the power button on the side of the TV and that's not working either. So, and it looks to be plugged in. So there's that. <laughs> Sacramento. It is about noon here. I have worked an eight hour day already and it's only noon. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think Sacramento is going to see my face today because I'm exhausted. We have a super long day tomorrow and a super early report time. So I'm honestly just going to take a nap, like get in bed right now. I'm going to take a nap because I I need to lay down and and yeah, we'll just see I might grab some food or something later But other than that, but let me show you the room because I have a corner unit like on the 16th floor and oh my gosh I have two window seats and it's just so cute. I love it so much. Hold on <laughs> Bathroom Very nice very nice Armoire. No one hiding in there. No, we've got the bed stitch here. <gasps> Look at this. Seats. View. Gorgeous. And then I have another one over here with the seat and a view of the pool. Good morning, guys. I am home. I finished the four day trip. I am beat, as you can probably tell. They released me for today, so I'm not on call or anything. So I can just chill. Yesterday was a really long day, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. We did Sacramento to Chicago, and then we did Chicago, DC, DC back to Chicago. So really long day, started really early in the morning, ended pretty late in the evening. I didn't get home until about 8, 39 o'clock. So I got home like eight something and pretty much passed out. <laughs> so that was that. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I will catch you guys on the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.